I, I, there was a Florida guy who was like allowed to walk after he shot someone or not shot at someone, but shot at someone. Are you guys ready for this? The road rage guy? Hold on. Let me see if I can find it. It's, it's insane, dude. Okay. So. You want to understand what Florida man is? I'll give you what Florida man is. There's no better way to understand Florida man. In June 2021, Eric Popper got into a road rage incident and fired his gun at someone. Okay? The Miami-Dade State Attorney's Office just dropped the charges against them. In a stand-your-ground state, you can lose your temper and fire your gun for no reason. I've never seen something like this. This guy got off on what he just did, okay, on the, uh, on the basis of stand-your-ground. Please understand, what you're about to see is, like, unimaginable. It is the most Florida thing that could have ever happened. Oh my god. Oh fuck off. He brake checks this guy behind him after cutting him off. Goes into his gun safe in his car. While he's going like fucking 75 miles an hour, you know what I mean? 60 miles an hour. Still going 60, by the way. Slowing down a little bit. Nope, still at 60. The guy comes up past him. This is a real thing that happened. Now, okay, watch. So what this guy did, apparently, he had his arm out the window... No, this is not a parody. This is a real thing. Like he was like he was like leaning over probably to be like fuck you. We don't know if this guy actually threw the water bottle. There was apparently a, a, no, the, the other the other uh uh car the other car we do not know if the other car was actually sh no, the, he didn't shoot. Shut up. Let me explain the story. First of all, he didn't even fucking roll down the w window, which is wild, okay? I mean, this is some no pixel ass shit. So that that's insane. Like why would you not fucking roll down your window? Uh but anyway, the Miami-Dade State Attorney's office dismissed the charges against the man who opened fire from his car on I-95 nearly 2 years ago. Eric Popper said he was being tailgated on the highway on his way to work in June 2021. Okay, there's this dash cam video. The judge saw this and dismissed it. Florida Highway Patrol trooper said the other driver then hurled a water bottle towards Popper's Toyota Venza, but Popper maintains it was gunfire. I've watched the video many times, did not see a water bottle, he said. I think under the stand your ground law, Mr. Popper was perfectly reasonable and justified in his actions, said Robert Gershman, the attorney representing Popper. There was no question when you look and listen to the facts of the case, Mr. Popper was shot at. They're saying that, they are saying that he might have thrown a water bottle. He is maintaining that he got shot at. There's no part of the video where it looks like uh, there's any shooting happening. But the reason why I love this story is because, one, he got away with it. Okay? He got away with it. Two, um, like, when you have a gun and you're, like, hopped up on whatever kind of fucking Florida brain disease you have. Saw a bug in my car. <laughs> yeah. When you're hopped up on whatever kind of fucking Florida brain rot you have, okay? Shooting back at him, there was for sure shooting. Wait, what? No, he wasn't. What are you talking about? Okay. He gets to keep his gun. He gets to keep his freedom. Um, 
he literally just like he he is so fucking cracked out that he he probably it could have been a a uh it could have been an exhaust that he misheard as gunfire okay but when you have a gun and and you hear you hear a car or you know someone throws a water bottle at your car or anything like that you know and you have a gun you're going to want to use it I love this I love this story for so many different reasons but especially because like again it's everything we talk about it's everything we talk about he's recklessly driving he is placing people under uh he's placing people's lives in danger with the way he's driving but like of course because he's only driving 60 miles an hour this is the most normal florida driver if anything he's driving too slow like let's be real driving too slow uh 50 uh 50 to 60 miles an hour with your eyes closed while you're shooting is like the most normal florida driving experience let's be real if you ever been to florida you know how fucking psychotic people in florida are no one in florida should be allowed to drive if i was you know if if i if i had any power in the state of florida i would just stop people from driving in florida anyway same with texas motherfuckers don't know how to drive it's similar to california let's be real but uh, yeah, disabled PVP in Florida, disabled driving in Florida. Anyway, he pulls his fucking gun out. He starts blasting. Luckily, he's dog shit. Funniest part about him is that he closes his eyes. Like, he just started blasting with his eyes closed, brother. Like, what the fuck are you doing? And I'm shocked that popping 11 shots, which is what he did. He apparently shot 11 shots. I'm shocked that that did not lead, okay, mag dumping in the middle of the fucking highway did not lead to a massive pileup. That's crazy. Like, Florida is so used to just this kind of behavior that you can mag dump on the highway and everyone's like, yeah, fuck it. Let's just keep going. Like, we got to go to work. It's Mad Max style, dude. It's people like this that have made me think so heavily about how I react to shit when I'm driving. I've been nearly driven off the road like twice just for flipping someone off. People are actual psychos. Yeah, but remember, Florida, not a problem, you know? Uh, not a problem. This is not an issue in Florida, you know? It, crime only happens in, uh, in, in places where there's black people in cities where Democrats are running the cities, you know? This kind of stuff... This kind of stuff is not a real crime because, like, he got off, you know? Driving is already scary enough, but now adding people shooting, that's terrifying. Dude, it is... By the way, he ruined his car and his hearing. You can tell how he tried to cover his ears with his shoulder. Yeah. Um, incredible, incredible stuff from this guy. Incredible self-own from this guy. Just wanted to point that out real quick that like, uh, you know, if you want to understand American gun culture, like I think this ties along very well with what we just watched. Okay. Florida also famously the, the city or, or Florida almost also famously did the pioneer program where in the aftermath of the Parkland shooting, they decided to, uh, uh, you know, not, uh, create red flag laws, but instead, uh, yeah, I said the city and then I said the state. Shut the fuck up, okay? Jesus Christ. Everyone is hyper-focusing on me saying the wrong thing for one moment. Oh, my God, chat. Please be normal for like three and a half seconds. Oh, my God. Streamer man said the wrong thing. Okay. Anyway. 